In this video, we will show you how to change the stroke on your TTX Airshock. Your TTX Airshock can be configured into four different stroke lengths. To maintain the high level of performance in your product, it is important to follow the service intervals. At olins.com, you can access manuals and find the specification for your product. The TTX Airshock is available as a single or double can shock. This video covers both models. You can use the Performance Suspension Guide at olins.com to calculate your specific spacer volume. Carefully clamp the end eye into a vise. Release the air from the shock. Make sure that it is empty to avoid damaging the shock or yourself. Carefully apply the tool so as not to damage the shock. Once loosened, you can unscrew it by hand. The TTX Air single can is loosened with a strap tool. Turn the shock upside down to prevent oil loss. Clean the shaft with a lint-free cloth and use soft jaws to hold it tight. Use a spanner to unscrew the end eye. Clean the old thread locking fluid from the thread. Change to the desired stroke reducer. Remember, a longer stroke reducer gives a shorter stroke. Consult your manual or dealer for more information. Apply thread locking fluid to the thread and re-tighten the end eye to the correct torque. Press the shock back together and start to tighten it by hand. For the double can model, move the air valve to the desired position and press down, then tighten to the correct torque. Pump the shock to your preferred air pressure. Now you're done in the workshop, it's time to go riding.